In this video, we'll take a look at the virtual disk options that are available for our virtual machines. And we do have a few different options when it comes to VM disks. So just like memory and CPU, the virtual machine doesn't really have any storage hardware. It doesn't have any actual disks. It's accessing a shared resource. And in that case, this resource is called a data store. So Windows, or whatever our guest operating system is, needs to see what it believes is storage hardware. So we'll trick our guest operating system by providing it drivers for a virtual SCSI controller. So in this case, we have a Windows VM. And when Windows needs to read or write data, it's going to issue SCSI commands. And those SCSI commands will be sent to the virtual SCSI controller. From there, the storage commands hit our ESXi host, they hit our hypervisor, and they're redirected towards the appropriate VMDK for this virtual machine. So here we see a SCSI command flowing out of the Windows virtual machine, hitting the storage adapter and arriving at the data store. Now there's some options for the virtual disk itself and the most common choice is to use a thin provisioned disk, right? So let's assume that this virtual machine is created with an 80 gig virtual disk, but it only has 40 gigabytes of actual data. Well, this means that only 40 gigabytes of space is actually used on the data store. And that's the big benefit of a thin provisioned disk is it is very space efficient. A thick provisioned disk is different. When you create a thick provisioned disk, all of that space is immediately consumed as soon as it's allocated. So a thin provisioned disk saves space and it's very efficient. A thick provisioned disk allocates 100% of the space up front. And before that space can be used, all the blocks must have zeros written to them. The process of writing these zeros can impact applications that write a lot of data, like database virtual machines. Now, thin provisioned disks zero out these blocks on demand. So they zero them out when the application needs them, and therefore, those virtual disks won't perform as well as an eager zeroed disk will. An eager zero disk has zeros written to it up front at the moment that virtual disk is created. So they won't have to complete that zeroing operation as the application is trying to utilize new space. And so for this reason, thick provisioned eager zeroed VMs are recommended for virtual machines with write intensive workloads, such as database virtual machines.